Hey guys, what is up? It's your girl Zoe, and today I'm going to be telling you some of the things that you need to do, some of the stuff you need to get before getting reptiles. So, um, yes, and make sure you guys subscribe, um, hit, um, hit the like button, um, turn that notification on so you won't, won't miss another rept reptile upload. Sorry, I can't speak words right now. <laughs> but, um, um, yeah, I haven't been posting in a while. It's okay. Um, because, yeah, uh, my computer broke. So, yeah. But anyways, um, the first thing that you need to do to get to take care of, um, your snakes or any type of reptile but this one's mainly for snakes, is a snake hook. This can be used for many things. Keep, um, to, uh, to hold them and, um, to pick them up if they're, like, being a little bit, um, sassy and aggressive, feisty, whatever. Um, it could be used to grab them, um, to put them back, grab them out, um, and also to just hold them if they're being feisty. The next thing that you're going to need, which I got it right here, um, is a temperature gun. So this reads the um, temperature of your reptile's uh, basking light. And it's, it's really helpful. So let me show you. So for Jedi's, it's 93.5 for that. Um, so you need, um, for this next one is um, a Repti safe and a bottle. So this is um, water for my reptiles that has water conditioner and I just spray it. But we already have another sprayer, so it's fine. I barely even use it. But this is for the bearded dragons, because you can't really give them a lot of um, um, humidity, because they could get respiratory infections that way, and you don't want to do that. So um, I just won't recommend doing that. Um, another tool that you need to have are tongs. Tongs are, I swear, tongs are the most, most, most important if you're going to feed your reptiles. I have two of them, but I just need to get, um, I just need to get, uh, chlorhexidine, which is going to be in the medical portion of this video. But this is for, um, any type of, um, feeding. So we use bugs, um, mice, um, for the ball pythons, which I got another ball python, okay? It is, yeah, it's really cute. And I have a surprise to show you at the end of the video, so stay tuned for that. But tongs are for use for many things to feed your reptiles. This one, um, these ones, I have a lot of supplements, which is this portion of it. Uh, supplements so we'll go over those so you need uh this is Reptivite I recommend this because it's um it's a vitamin that you need to keep your reptiles um, in good shape with uh, and then there's two types of different ones for this um, but um, this is reptile calcium with Without D3, yeah, without D3, uh, and people get this mixed up. If you if you see without D3, this one's the blue one, and I have a little one that came with the bearded dragon kit, but I don't use that kit no more because I gave. Um, oh, and I'm gonna try and get new enclosures for everyone, but no, not new enclosures, just for Jedi. Um, but yeah, um, so this is with D3, so I give this one to my dragons, 
I give these two to my dragons. And then, um, you mix all of those with your bugs. Um, another thing that you need is for bath time. Uh, so you need, like, a little cloth like this. This is for, like, um, like, after they, um, after your reptiles soak. And you need a toothbrush. And, um, you need this to just get off, um, excess shed or something. Um. So yeah, and now we're gonna go on to the medical portion of this, uh, which some of this stuff I don't have, but uh, I can just uh, refer it, but uh, it's down here. So this is for mites. Um, this, these are all for mites. So, uh, this is my mite spray. So, um, I just use like regular mite spray and spray it in their enclosure or whatever. Um, towels in case like after, like, like after they, um, done soaking, you can just soak them and then put them in their mite treatment area. Um, this is for the enclosure portion of it. Um, the enclosure, uh, you're going to need, um, this type of paper towel. So, you're going to need paper towels to just put, like, substrate for them. And then, um, yeah, that's what that is for. Uh, but, yeah, uh, I'm going to show you the surprise that's right here. So, this is go going to be my, uh my uh uh hogno snake area that's gonna be my hogno snake enclosure i haven't gotten one yet oh yeah um and for this one you're going to have to um for the medical portion of this uh so chlorhexidine is um a cleaning product for your tongs, any type of uh, things, because you don't want um, your insects on it and then your mice on it, because that's not just, that's not responsible. Um, I don't have one yet, that's why I have two tongs, um, but yeah, um, um, a five mil syringe, because with the ballpoint tip, because, um, if you have egg bound snakes, like which which um egg bound snakes means uh their uh, the eggs are stuck uh and the mom can't um and the mom snake can't get it out. So a five mil syringe and with uh with um what is it called um with mineral oil um the mineral oil helps um the um helps uh the snake push out the eggs yeah um and then you're gonna need uh like some sort of heat pad and what i mean by heat pad is not the heat pads that you're gonna use for heat um heat pads in case the electricity goes out or something um um and then if you have a if you have um uh like um if something ever happens use polysporin if they're like if something happens to your snake that's always a thing but anyways but anyways uh i hope you like this video if you did make sure you subscribe and um um hit the notification for part two bye guys